Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners and those Dynamics guys. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to use the image control. Uh, we're going to look at JPEGs, SVGs and PNGs. Um, I think first, before I kind of get into loads of detail, I'll just sort of make a distinction between JPEGs, SVGs and PNGs. So what we have here is, if I just escape out of that, this object here is uh, it's a JPEG and they kind of scale up and down and that's fine and um, this here is another um, another JPEG and what you'll see is as you kind of move, scale it up and down uh, it's actually got a background to it now this what we're looking at here is a PNG and it has no background at all so what you'll see is as you as you move it up and down the only thing that it covers is 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 itself if that makes sense so if I was to move that across there then um, then you can see that it all it does is cover it whereas if you move this across it's got a great big white space so um, just have that in mind it kind of really really matters on games and so on um, and then finally, uh, what I wanted to talk to you about was a scalable, well, SVG, which means scalable vector graphic. And what that means is that it doesn't matter what size you take this thing to, the dimensions will be always absolutely, you know, pin sharp. It doesn't matter what size it goes to. And what you'll find is with even with PNGs, you can get, um, you know, the if if it's not been sort of saved at the right um size and so on you might get sort of kind of blurry edges and, and so on so um so how does that apply to uh power apps well it's just really to say there are three types of images and you can you can take your pick as to which ones you use um so what we're going to do here is we will um go on to the media and i'm going to go and get myself some images um so i'm going to browse i'm going to jump onto my little gallery see if i can actually find some things um well uh i know that i'm going to go look i'm going to filter on the sort of types as well and hopefully I'll actually find something. Bear with. So I've got two images here. I've got a JPEG and um, an act this is actually an SVG. It's just kind of coming through a bit strange looking. Um, so I'm just going to open those. Now you can see that's come through OK. And now I'm going to go and have a little hunt for a... Uh, I'm just going to have a little hunt for a decent image. Uh, so I'm going to be products. Now I'll go on to Mini Dreams. And this is my bits and pieces for. So, little phone call in the middle there, but it'll be okay. So, what I wanted to do is pick out a PNG. So, I'm going to pick up this, um, this uh, image that I created. And I'll just press the go button on that. It's not, to be fair, it's not that clear that they're PNG. So, I don't. Um, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a way of knowing that, but anyway, I know they are. So if that's the case, then we've got those bits and pieces, which means we can then do. Um, we're just going to pop three media bits in: insert media image, and we'll do insert media image. And on that, we can then do our SVG, SVG, um, and that's our SVG that we know we can scale up and down. Which is pretty amazing, really. Um, so that's our SVG, which is our scalable vector graphic. And then we've got our donkey, which is just what it says on the tin. It's just a JPEG. And obviously you can see that actually, you can see already that as you, as you make that really big, then you know you're getting it um you've got issues with the with the quality of the image and then finally i've got this crazy boy thing um which is uh, which is a png which means that you can move across things and so on whereas obviously we couldn't do that with the other ones um and you know we can make that big you will still get some of the scaling issues with with a png so you just need to make sure that when you do save it you actually make it make sure that it's um a reasonable resolution so personally i kind of favor pngs if you can save them as pngs that's great honestly don't really know the differences in size and so on but hopefully you've learned a few things along the way today and uh, we'll see you again soon cheers bye